The tradition goes way back as they're playing for Service Academy supremacy and pride today. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Air Force, Air Force has, lined has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He'll return it from the three. Tackle at the 27. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Makes it out to about the 39. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yardage. Gets to around the 42. A strong run by the fullback will give him a gain of nine. That brings up second and nine. And he's level at the 42 yard line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. Gets out to around the 32. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Nice run to the outside. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes it second and six. He's taken down at the two-yard line. That's a game of 10. That makes it first and goal. There was some movement on the line. Ball start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Touchdown, midshipman. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7-0. Taken from the three-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tries to get around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A 
long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Navy's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Right around midfield. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50. A little toss across the middle. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. He scrambled. He's at the 20. Tackle at the 15. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Run up the middle. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll make it third and one. The Falcons quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's up. Smart play, being ready for the pass and swatting it away. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The Falcons running back, he was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. It's up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Navy holds a four-point lead. Going deep. Navy's going to take their first time out of the hat. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. And he's taken down at about the 13. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He gets it up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. A great first half comes to a close. 10-3, midshipman. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the, if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make them move and get outside of the pocket, you know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback, we always talk about that guy, you know, in the NFL making all the money. A lot of times you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Pitch out, got the corner. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Number 44 brings him down at the 47 yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. get back to the line. A loss on that one is he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They that sacrificed their really bodies well. in there and stuffed him. Watch two, watch two. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Navy up seven points. That's a great tackle at the 30. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. And they make the stop at the 27 yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. That's three down and one to go. Navy's lead is a touchdown. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. 
A pickup of five on the option to the fullback. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 24. after a decent run up the gut. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. Air Force has called their final timeout. They'll bring him down at the seventh. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get him there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting it. Touchdown, Navy! And he tacks on the extra point. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. We're about set to start things up again. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Check, check. check. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 28-yard line, third down. the 48. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Spikes the ball. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He chucks it downfield. And he's immediately tackled. And he stops the clock with a spike. Here's play number 10 on the drive. to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 14. Here we go. He goes out of bounds at the seven yard line. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 17-3.
midshipmen. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Navy came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.